Hi, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading for Thursday the 14th of July. Today we are joined by the lovely Valentine who is behind me. <laughs> now I don't, you probably can't hear it, but she's purring. Hi, you sweetheart. She's, ooh, she's purring really loudly. Oh, she heard me setting up and then she kind of leapt on the bed as if to say, yeah, come on, let's do some tarot. Yes, sweetheart, hello. Yes. <laughs> oh. That's enough falling over my cat. No, I do love you, don't I, sweetheart? Yes. We're gonna do some tarot. Right, we're gonna we're gonna do some tarot. <laughs> now you know that I talk to my cat with baby talk. There you go, no shame. No shame. This is for all zodiac signs for Thursday, 14th of July. Let's see if we've got over everybody fighting from yesterday. Now, I've got these out, so I'm obviously gonna use them. That's what happens actually, it's really weird. I intuitively lift a stack of cards, start shuffling them, and I think, oh, that's the ones then. So this is the ones. Ooh. This is my old school right away, lovely, lovely favourite favourites. Well, that and my mythic. I'm looking for new favourites all the time, of course, as most tarot readers are. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Whoa, this is big. This is big. Wow. Okay, let's get straight on with it. The Empress, she's here, Major Arcana, gorgeous, love the Empress. In this, no, not in this pack, in the Mythic, it's Demeter, the goddess of the crops, who makes things grow in the summertime. Mm -mm. She's actually got a, a She's got like a star tiara on. Oh yeah, it's like a kind of a crown, but made of stars. Look at that. And you know that I am wild for a tiara. If I could get away with like somehow wearing a tiara, t-shirt and jeans, that is a look. <sighs> okay. Then we got the tower. In it comes, epiphanies, full moon and Capricorn energies, kicking out. I mean, hey, it doesn't kick out much more than that, does it? Kicking out. And then as if that wasn't enough to be contending with. <laughs> oh this is the most dramatic reading I've done in ages. Ten of Cups. For some people... I'll tell you what this speaks to me about. This is obviously a general reading. For some people, there are epiphanies and issues to do with family and to do with mothers. Either you as a mother, your mother, uh, mother figure, parenting. And it doesn't matter whether it's you, whether you have children or not, or whether it's your own like lineage and history with your own mother, grandmother, to a certain extent sisters, mother figures around the family. This is, you know, secrets being revealed for some people, this tower. Secrets being revealed, which I can again only see as a good thing. You know, we've got this Ten of Cups lighting up here. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful card. It really is. I think it's Mars in Pisces, the Ten of Cups, which is, you know, power in love. Jennifer Rush, the power of love. Are you with me? <laughs> oh, no, you can't. No one can do an impression of Jennifer Rush. <laughs> well, actually, if we went on YouTube, I bet plenty of people have done an impression of Jennifer Rush. Think... 80s power ballad. Think bringing it home. Think Jennifer Rush. That's your ten of cups. All out. Whole enchilada. It's also peaceful resolution. Can you see the rainbow? 
and the cups. Cups are emotional. Cups are fulfilling in the ten. Not always, obviously. Some of the other cards aren't. This card, yes, it kind of completes the rainbow. And sometimes, you know, to have a rainbow, it's got to be some rain. This is, it could be a result of the arguments that have been going on. It could be very old stuff that goes back generations, swept under the carpet, out it comes. It could be issues to do with your mother, uh, whether your mother is unwell or your relationship with your mother. It's quite big. For a lot of us, it's quite big. You may find you've had, if your mother has passed, you may have like psychic little twinkles of her around or whatever, because we have our own feeling about that. You know, you have your own way of knowing that someone's around. You may get some of that. You may get some flashbacks. You may get smells, smell flashbacks. You may get come across an old bottle of perfume or something. Or if it's still in the living, you could, you, it's secrets revealed, it's deep conversations, it's things needing to be got off the chest. Now, for a very few people, but it is here for some, this is to do with pregnancy, surprise pregnancies. When you get the Tower and the Emperor, Empress together, and let's not forget, these are all in the upright, okay? So I don't see this as very negative. I see this as shocking, shockingly positive, actually, because, you know, Ten of Cups doesn't come out for me often as a tarot reader, I have to say. It's not a card I see as often as I would damn well like it to be. The Empress, yes, I get a lot of the Empress and a lot of the Tower, but that with the Ten of Cups, to me, is a completion, it's a cycle, it's incubating something you love. It could be to do with new ideas, new projects, have to be something you loved though, something you were passionate about. And there will be shocks, it will not be the way you think. You know, the tower throws a cat amongst the pigeons, that's it. For some it is a shock, shock pregnancy news, either about you or someone else. It's a very, very happy, happy thing. It's just a big shock for some people. That won't be for everybody. That's just for a few people. I like this though. I think this gives us a chance to tie off a few things. To do with motherhood, to do with family, to do with secrets, to do with taking a new leap of faith. You know, although they're chucked out of this tower, they are taking a leap of faith. And the card that follows on from the tower is the star. Do you know what I'm going to do, actually? Wrong pack, Gemma, wrong pack. Just looking over here to see if there's any other packs. I'm getting all excited. Yeah. I think this is called Anna Kay Tarot. It doesn't have a box. Oh, yes, it does. Anna K. Tarot. Yes, it is. Nice illustrations. Just going to clarify a couple of these. Lovely shuffling. Tarot readers are just so geeky about cards. It's like, oh, they shuffle like this. They feel like that. And I can hold them like that. And then they do this and that. Has to be you. When Harry met Sally. I've now got the power of, of love. <laughs> Jennifer Rush's big voice going through my head as an earworm. That'll last about a week now. That's a good thing though, it could be worse. That's nice. That's nice. Ooh. Bang tidy as they say. Okay, good. Mm, two eights as well. Very nice. Now, we have here this Empress. Eight of Pentacles. This is the card of working on things. 
This is to do with working on relationships. This is to do with the effort that you've put in and also all that you've been through together with mother figures or your own mother or grandmother, probably mother though. If, whether they're with us or whether they're not, this is to do with the relationship and how it was built and the fact that you're still building it. And you still build relationships with people when they've passed. Obviously, the relationship changes, but it continues. It's a very positive card. It still puts you as the child, however old you are, always in the place of being the apprentice. But the apprentice that's making progress. Now for the tower, clarification is the fool. Zero. I love the fact that the fool is zero. Apart from being obsessed by time, I am obsessed by zero and the whole concept of zero. But just in the tarot, the fact that the fool isn't even number one, you know, he's not even been marked with any kind of anything. It's just a clean sheet of zero and it's a circle and it's a cycle. Tower begins a new journey. It could change your relationship with your mother or if it is to do with pregnancy, it will change your life. Now the Ten of Cups, we get the Eight of Wands in the reverse. This is about hearing about something being slightly delayed. So when this Ten of Cups, the way that this comes in may be slightly delayed. It won't be straight away. It won't be shock, bingo, pleasure. It will be shock and then rainbow. Rain, sun, rainbow. I like this rainbow. Now, what do I want? I want one of these. Oh, no. Oh, yes, I do. Oh. What's that one? Again, we get this card such a lot, don't we? We get poised again. Love this card. Love, love, love this card. I feel like with the eclipse coming up as well in August, we'll talk about that later, but I feel like we are poised. And also I feel like it's the more traditional sense of having poise and having class and having, um, being able to carry ourselves even in ugly situations with dignity. That's what I get from that card and that we are poised as well. This is a delay, this eight of rods in reverse. We are poised for something much cleaner and brighter and warmer and more, more satisfying than what we've had so far. Because we're doing the shadow work and we're clearing out the cupboards. The tower is helping everybody. It's like, um, oh, who's that? Andrew Marvell. And he says, at my back, I always hear time's winged chariot drawing near. Well, the tower is like the winged chariot drawing near, kicking us up the bum if there's anything we don't want to face. And that Marvell, that was ages ago. And he was still, of course, it's all about time. He was still thinking about it then. Playfulness. This is nice. Never forget this. This is just a little nudge from spirit to be playful. Maybe with family as well. Playful whether your parents, mother is in spirit, in which case they like to play. Or whether they're still with us, in which case they like to play. And so do we. I'm just going to hold up the ten of cups because it's so great. <laughs> now I want to sing somewhere over the rainbow. One day I'll work out the whole copyright thing and there will be music. <laughs> So there you go. That was quite a deep reading, actually, but I like it. Let me know what you thought of it. Leave a comment how it resonates with you. Thank you, everyone who's been leaving the comments. It's fantastic. I'm trying to get back to everybody as well, and I do definitely am reading all of the comments and enjoying them. Do hit the like button and the subscribe button. If you want a private reading, you can book in the description box or visit my website, gemstonetarot.com. Tomorrow I'm back with the weekly reading, which will be time stamped for all zodiac signs. Check out your July 2017 reading as well for each sign. So it's bye from Valentine, who's completely crushed out. Oh, absolutely.
absolute bliss. Ooh. Bye from me. See you tomorrow. Bye.